been a pleasure. Well, you're a sight for sore eyes. Would you like to get up to some more mischief? It was fun the last time. Yes, it was. I'm a bit surprised you thought so too. Although a girl doesn't get a chance to tend the wounds of a gallant defender every day. But I can't right now. Will you come back another time, please? Do you want something? I'd like to ask a favour of you, Hal. Of course. What is it? I heard you're picking people to carry water. No one needs the job more than Antonia. Oh, Adam never mentioned any Antonia. I'm not surprised. But Antonia really needs that job. Hmm. Can she cook? What's that got to do with carrying water? Nothing, but there's a cook's job going too. Much easier than hauling water. I don't know how good a cook she is, though. You'd better ask her yourself. Do you think she'll be able to handle carrying those buckets? It's quite far, and up that hill. She's no princess. She's tough enough. All right. All right. I'll bear it in mind. Bear it in mind? What does that mean? It means I'll think about it. The bailiff has the last word. Well... If he's got something against giving the job to a woman, then try and get Vinton in at least. He might not have anyone on their deathbed, but his mother has no one else.
What do you want here, lad? God save, Monsignor. My name's Henry, and I've been sent by Sir Hanish of Lipa. Sir Hanish, hmm. And why is he sending you? I'm to assist you in your search. Oh, I see. How considerate of him. Well, you've come at the right time. I need someone who'll go unnoticed among the locals. I'm sure Sir Hanish told you what I'm doing here. He said you're looking for heretics? Exactly. I'm seeking out the sores that inflict the body of the church. The rash of heretics. Valdensians. Dangerous heretics, one and all. How can I help you, then? Excellent. Let's get right to the point, Henry. I know how to get to where the heretics congregate. And what's stopping you from going there, sir? That is to say, I know in theory. The crux of the matter is this. We caught a heretic in Kutenberg who told us of the heretics in Uschitz. Regrettably, by the time he got around to describing their meeting place, he was already raving and hardly coherent. I see. So do you know where they meet up, or don't you? Possibly. His account was confused, to say the least. I have a record somewhere here. Can you read, boy? Sir, I'm a blacksmith's son. I usually help Sir Hanish with things... Well, with things that don't demand much education. Good God. Well, I can't blame you for that, my child. But it seems Sir Hanush hasn't much respect for me, sending me such a lackey. Never mind, I'll read it to you, so pay attention, and take the parchment with you. It might be of interest to Sir Hanush. I began my pilgrimage in Ujitz, a den of iniquity where the people were drinking and fornicating, so I left that corrupt place at once. The only place I could make out was the local tavern, and at once I saw another abomination the Temple of the Bride of the Antichrist, with the proud Babylonian Tower. I went past it quickly towards the rising sun. When I left the village, I came upon a crossroads and didn't know which way to go. So I fell on my knees and prayed, and my prayer was heard, for the finger of Christ rose from the ground to show the right path. On I went, through this sinful land, and suddenly I heard the sound of a thousand-headed crowd at work, and I saw their queen and their towers. I journeyed further on, and all at once there rose from the ground the jaws of the behemoth, and his broken teeth jutted up to the heavens like the tombstones of the Moabites. So I went through the mouth of the beast, and by the road I saw the abode of the apostles Peter and Andrew. I was hungry, so I took the fruits of their labors and filled my belly. Then I left their house and saw two widows weeping and keening. I wept with them, and they let me sleep in their shadow. I went further along the edge of the world, and saw the ribs of the great Leviathan washed up by the sea. Then I saw two bridges over the river Jordan, and the devil tempted me and tried to lure me to the one on the right. But I saw through his deception, and went against his will. And then I finally saw it, the gateway to the Garden of Paradise, abundant with foliage. It was guarded by men of straw, but they saw I was a good Christian, and let me enter therein. <sighs> That sounds rather insane. As I say, he was probably raving. Do you recognize any of those places? No, but I can look for them. Excellent. That's what I wanted to hear. Well, I'm not from Ujits exactly, so I don't know how well they'll accept me. That's good, because the last thing I need is one of these local good-for-nothings. I can't trust a single one of them. And they don't trust me either, but you're an ordinary lad with a likable face, if a bit simple-looking. You'll have a much better chance of learning their secrets. You flatter me, Monsignor. Very well, then. Are there any suspects? Everyone is a suspect. You can be sure of that. But I'll know more after I finish the interrogations. How did you conclude there are heretics here? We caught one in Gutenberg. He confessed to everything, including meeting up with others in Ujitz a few times. And that was all he told you? By the end, all his strength had left him, so he couldn't even put together a list. But that doesn't necessarily mean any of them are from Ujitz. Maybe they just meet here. 
That is indeed possible, but I want certainty, not conjecture. Who are these Valdensians? I've never heard of them. Really? Then you've either not been paying attention in church, or the parish priest in Retai is too idle to read out the bishop's missive to the congregation. Um... Both possibilities are equally disturbing, but I'll allow you the benefit of the doubt, and assume it's the latter. But to answer your question, it's a heretical sect. I gathered that much, but what form does the heresy take? Look, boy, I don't have time right now to embark on theological disputation. Besides which, it's not something you need concern yourself with. Suffice it to say, they are heretics. Very well, Monsignor. Father, would you read that account to me again, please? Certainly, but pay close attention. I began my pilgrimage in Ujits, a den of iniquity where the people were drinking and fornicating, so I left that corrupt place at once. The only place I could make out was the local tavern. And at once I saw another abomination, the Temple of the Bride of the Antichrist, with the proud Babylonian Tower. I went past it quickly towards the rising sun. When I left the village, I came upon a crossroads and didn't know which way to go. So I fell on my knees and prayed, and my prayer was heard, for the finger of Christ rose from the ground to show the right path. On I went, through this sinful land, and suddenly I heard the sound of a thousand-headed crowd at work, and I saw their queen and their towers. I journeyed further on, and all at once there rose from the ground the jaws of the behemoth, and his broken teeth jutted up to the heavens like the tombstones of the Moabites. So I went through the mouth of the beast, and by the road I saw the abode of the apostles Peter and Andrew. I was hungry, so I took the fruits of their labors and filled my belly. Then I left their house and saw two widows weeping and keening. I wept with them, and they let me sleep in their shadow. I went further along the edge of the world and saw the ribs of the great Leviathan washed up by the sea. Then I saw two bridges over the river Jordan, and the devil tempted me and tried to lure me to the one on the right. But I saw through his deception and went against his will. And then I finally saw it, the gateway to the Garden of Paradise, abundant with foliage. It was guarded by men of straw, but they saw I was a good Christian and let me enter therein. That sounds rather insane. As I say, he was probably raving. Do you recognize any of those places? No, but I can look for them. Excellent. That's what I wanted to hear. I'll get working on it, sir. God be with you, my son.
What do you want here? Hop it, or I'll call a guard. Well? I'll find you, you cur. You can't hide from me.
Jesus Christ be praised. I heard you have a way with the horse that unsaddles everyone else. Yes. I suppose I do. And how do you do it? How do you calm him down? I... I'm good to him. Listen, Vashek. I've been entrusted by the Lady of Talmberg. I need you to help me understand how to calm down that Roan. Lady Stephanie? Then you know her. She's a good person. She even talked to me once. I know her too, and she was nice to me as well. Will you help me with the Roan? You have to... S sing him his favourite song. And which one would that be? Two horses come roaming in the merry month of May To graze in the shade of the apple tree there The first one is brown and the second is grey Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? That's, uh, interesting. I know how it looks, but he likes it. Thank you, Vashek. I found that horse you lost. Really? Yes, really. Thank for all the saints. I was just about to start packing my things. I'll let you wed my daughter if I had one. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Just take more care next time. I will. May the Lord watch over you. So, boy, want me to sing? <laughs> You're definitely the first horse I've ever serenaded. Two horses come roaming in the merry month of May To graze in the shade of the apple tree there The first one
Lady Stephanie. Thank you, Henry. Say, boy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. My respects to you. The Lady of Talmberg sent me. She wants me to find out why the crown's been delayed. Uh, through no fault of ours, I can tell you that. We had a large stone ordered for mounting on the crown, a beautiful Moldavite from South Bohemia that we had cut and polished in Prague. But, well, in short, the good merchant, Martin Wiesek, who was supposed to bring it from Prague, got lost along the way. It's like the ground swallowed him up. Lady Stephanie won't be happy. Uh, look, we've got something else here we can replace the stone with, but I'm sure even you can see it's not worthy of a noble wedding, and definitely not worthy of our fine craftsmanship. Oh, if I only had someone who'd try to find the Moldavite. Why don't you just ask me? Of course I'll try to find the stone. Just tell me where the fellow was seen last. That fellow, as you call him, the esteemed merchant, 
Martin Wiesek, was last seen riding alongside the Sassau River, passing by the footbridge over the ford, to the west of here. Evidently, he never made it to Sassau town. Hmm. Well, I'll look for him, but he could be far over the mountains by now. Or under the ground. Farewell. <laughs>